What is up mga Katribu and fellow sports fans? Welcome to another edition of the Athletes Tribune. This is your host Ian Suyu. And we will be entering the world of basketball for this episode. Ayan. Barely a week after the first ever virtual rookie draft of the PBA, uh, we are now joined by two of the biggest names in the said event and also biggest names during their collegiate seasons. Selected as the, in the first round as the number 11 overall pick from Northport Batang Pierre, Mr. Troy Reich, and also selected as the 11th pick for the second round by Rain or Shine Elasto Painters from De La Salle University, Mr. Andre Caracu. What is up, guys? Welcome to the show. How's it going? How's it going? Yeah. Thank you. Ayan, can you hear me? Malinaw naman? Okay naman, okay naman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, first of all, uh, one week after the draft, uh, na-absorb nyo na ba? Have you already observed that you will now be playing for the biggest basketball league in the country? I'll start with you, Troy. Yeah, I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't think it's really set in yet. I think the, the the draft was like a big day for me, and then things have kind of calmed down since then. Uh, I unfortunately haven't had the chance to have a full practice yet, so I think that's that's really the moment it'll set in for me. Mm-hmm. Have you have you already talked to Coach Pido and some of your teammates? Yeah, I've talked to Coach Pido. I've I've messaged with a lot of my teammates who are on the team, and then obviously you know my fellow rookie uh, Jamie Malonzo. We've uh, had the opportunity to work out together a little bit. so, But that's been the extent of it so far. Oh, I see. That's great to hear. How about you, Josh? How's that? Um, well, excited na mga pag-training na. Pero andito pa rin yung kabay. Kasi, well, kasi drafty pa lang ako and wala pang contract. So, walang chance. Wala, wala pang parang hindi pa talaga PBA player. So, eto uh, trabaho pa rin and excited and sana mabigyan ng chance mm-hmm. but the team uh, yung team ba na welcome ka na kumbaga congratulate and all nakausap na ba sila ayos na nakausap ko na yung team manager si coach Dyer de and message na si coach Chris um uh, naman excited din sila for, for me mm-hmm. and uh how does it feel to finally crack into the PBA draft and did you expect to be drafted early dun sa, ano, sa, sa event, uh, Troy? Um, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't really have that many expectations on, on where I would go. Um, I, f- I feel like I had a good chance to at least get drafted, but I feel like I ended up in a good situation with, with Northport. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really excited to, to be in the PBA no, no matter you know, where it was. I'm just excited to get to work and get better. How about you, Josh, when you heard your name? Well, may expectation ako sa sarili ko pero na- na- naiintindihan ko yung draft class ko talagang maraming uh, magaling na players and uh, pasalamat na ako na na-draft ako and nasa na-draft ako ng, ng isang magandang organization ng, ng Rainers Hall. Kaya may happy din ako na na-pick ako ng Rainers Hall. Mm-hmm. And uh how does uh, and by the way kamusta yung contract status Andre you said uh, wala na pirmahan na ba or wala pang ano may deal uh, na ba Tang na yon uh, kasi hindi pa ako nag nakapag practice kasi may ay pa sa sarili ko and kailangan kasi kailangan nila makita before kung bibigyan ng contract or so uh, so far wala pa naman yeah. hmm. how about you Troy Not Yeah I mean I- I definitely feel really blessed to be in a position where, you know, um, a, a contract is on the table. I think it's kind of just the, the details at this point. But um, the good news is I, I just kind of leave that to my agent. You know what I mean? Just just focus on basketball. But yeah. like I said, just just really blessed that that's kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm not uh, thinking about it too much. I'm just thinking about the basketball right now. Yeah. Leaving it to them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let, 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 let them handle that kind of stuff. And, uh by the way, before the draft, a week before the draft, uh, some players were able to put themselves through a one-day showcase, I think. And, uh, were you able to uh, undergo or experience such kind of event as well? Were other coaches and uh, team managers? Uh, then? For, for, for me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think maybe what you're talking about with the showcase, I know, like Titan did like a pro day. Yeah, yeah. I think that's one thing I definitely heard. I did. I didn't have like a like a showcase type of thing, but I did get to work out with with two teams. 
I, um, it was tough for me because I was coming out of the quarantine, uh, coming from the U S. So I felt like I worked really hard at home. And then, you know, you, you in seven days, literally just laying in bed, you come out a, a, li- a little rusty. So it was kind of a weird situation. I wish there had been like a draft combine or something like that, where it was a little more organized, but I at least got to do something. Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe you know which teams, <laughs> the two teams that you played with or. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I worked out with uh, Morocco and Magnolia before the oh, draft. I yeah. see. So they invited you for the training then. Yeah, it was weird. I, I kind of like, uh, if I'm being honest, it wasn't too intentional. It was mm-hmm. like, I, I only had like one day. So it was kind of just like, you know, my agent was like, this, this slot is available. It's like, okay, let me, let me at least like, at the very least I can get like, you know, my, shake my rust off a little yeah. bit and just, just have some fun in there. Mm-hmm. And how about you, Andre? Uh, may ganun ka rin ba na experience kung baga na nakapag-training ka with other teams before the draft? Uh, yes, uh, two weeks before ng draft nakapag uh, napag-training ako with Ginebra, um, Magnolia and Rain or Shine. Um, medyo ano overwhelming nung nung nakita mo na kasi first uh, training ko with Ginebra and then na ating mga coaches sila, coach Tim po. <laughs> and talaga overwhelming, medyo may kaba, may ano pero the following yung ibang training okay na naka-adjust na rin masaya masaya uh, mm-hmm. uh, nakakasama ko sila oh so three di- three, three teams yun tapos bigatin ka agad and kamusta how was your experience with Barangay Hinebra kamusta yung nakausap mo ba si team si coach team uh, wala mga advices mga advice lang na mm-hmm. ito, ito na yung start ng basketball uh, career na ito, ito pa lang yung start in talagang wag wag mawala ng pag-asa na kung sino man kukuha sa amin or kung ano mangyayari sa amin na talagang tuloy lang talagang trabaho lang. Mm-hmm. Ayun. And let's go into a more controversial question, I think. Uh, what do you think were the disadvantages na walang rookie camp na ginanap before the draft day? Uh, I'll start with you, Troy. Uh, the disadvantages? I mean, if if I'm being like 100% honest, I think especially for maybe some of the the rookies who are fighting for like a, a, a who are maybe more under the radar. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, I had the benefit of, of playing somewhat recently in, in the 3x3 bubble. So I felt yeah. like, you know, there was a good amount of, of film out there on me. But I think for a lot of people with, you know, the way college, the college season was shut down in certain leagues, it was really, um, I think the coaches would have preferred to see a lot of people kind of up close together. I think that, you know, that would have been nice for me to see how I stack up against the other draft prospects directly. But I think particular for, particularly for the underrated guys, I think that was like, well, I don't want to say underrated, but you, you know what I'm trying to say? Like mm-hmm. uh, some other players it was, but, but for everyone, it was tough. How about you, Josh? Uh, well, for me, I know my um, disadvantage is, you know, hindi, hindi, hindi ka nakikita ng coaches. Eh. Mm. Uh, hindi ka yung, yung yung buong taon na nagtrabaho ka during the quarantine di nila nakita yon eh di, di nila nakita yung improvement mo nung itong taon na yun. so uh, mahirap for us and mahirap din sa mga coaches kasi di nila alam and ang ang baga talaga ang ano nila sa names and kung yung mga previous games yung mga mm-hmm. ano nila and sa, sa tingin ko yung mga practices ng uh, yung mga nag-invite sila uh, malaking bagay yun for them and para sa amin din kasi doon mo makikita kung kung skilled or kung anong klaseng footwork mga ganung bagay yung feeling ko na new thing na nila no? nag-invite sila yeah. Pero sa, uh, may 5 on 5 eh iba pa rin may 5 on 5 makita yung laro Uh, kumbaga, it could have been a fair uh, kumbaga, level playing field no para para sa mga uh, aspirants kung meron sa ano ano meron sa ng rookie camp yeah but how does it feel na ano yung experience yun naman na ida draft kayo yet virtually may na bago ba sa expectations niyo kung baga I start with you Josh this time naman um hindi niyo inexpect ko eh kasi nanonood ako ng draft mismo sa Rob Uh, Ermita eh. Iba yung feel, parang 
ikaw na nanonood, iba yung feeling. Gusto mo na ma-experience yung ganun. And nung time na yan, vert, yung virtual lang yung draft, ako lang mag-isa kasi yung, be, yung family ko nasa province. And sabi ko parang, ang weird lang na ganito yung ano. Pero kasi yung situation, ganun yung situation. Eh nakala ko parang wala lang. Pero during the draft, mm-hmm. andyan yung kaba. Sobra. Andyan. Andyan yung kaba na hindi mo alam kung i- pa, kailan kayo da-draft. And lalo na wala akong nakakasama. Mm-hmm. So, mahirap sa part ko na in, wala ka sasandalan. <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh. Uh, ayan. Oh, ang hirap no? Yung emotions mo, hindi mo alam kung paano mo i-handle given na mag-isa ka lang during your draft day. Yes. Ito. Mm-hmm. How about you, Troy? Yeah, how's, I mean, how's the feeling? Yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of similar. Um, you know, it was kind of, it was weird for me, but I'm honestly like not someone who, you know, would have been nice to have that draft day and and have those moments. But for me, like all that spotlight and everything, I kind of honestly preferred just going through the draft and in, in the comfort of my own home because it's already you know such a stressful process and you don't really know what's going on. It obviously would have been nice to, you know, have my family there and, you know, celebrate it with people. But I think with all the uncertainty, it was kind of nice that I could just kind of like be by myself in a sense. And it's just like, you know, whatever happens, I know that I, I can get through it. Uh, were you with your family during the draft day? Um, I unfortunately wasn't, you know, my, I mean, my, you know, my mom and dad and brother and sister are in the U.S. Oh, so nice. that was, that was a tough thing off the bat. And even, you know, I have my family here as well, but with with everything going on now they, they live kind of far away too i think we just kind of you know celebrated it virtually <laughs> yeah nevertheless still a momentous day for both of you i guess i think so definitely yeah and uh i, I have many more questions actually but we'll be hitting our first break and uh we'll be back for more Babalik po kami. Montero Sport. Elevate your journey. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. Ipanang panahon, dami ng bago ngayon. Pati ang mundo natin, well, 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 na bago na rin. Buti ang mabayan, bigger, better na. You can buy the centers, pati sa mga parts of me. Pagbabago ng mundo for all your para transactions, all new bayan. Welcome back to the show. Muli po kami nagbabalik dito sa The Athletes Tribune. Kasama pa rin natin, PBA rookies, Troy Reich and Josh Andre Karakut. So, yan, uh, going back, uh, let's talk about your life before the draft. No, We've been in a lockdown for more than a year, I think. No, And guys, paano ninyo yung spend yung life ninyo amid the pandemic here in the country? I'll start with you, Josh. Um, well, first month ng... Ang quarantine na uh, pinaka mahirap na. <laughs> pinaka parang ang hirap, ang hirap mag-adjust pero ayun, uh, well, tuloy pa rin yung workout ko and uh, tuloy pa rin yung school. Uh, may mm-hmm. school ako nung time na yun. Yun yung pinaka pinag-aabalahan ko. And ayun, uh, adjust lang sa buhay <laughs> pero tuloy pa rin yung ano, yung yung goal and yung workout. Mm-hmm. 
During that time ba, last year ba, may playing year ka pa sana sa Lasal? Ah, uh, wala na. Ba? Ah, wala. Mm-hmm. ABL na yung Uh-oh. last year. So, alam. Mm-hmm. So, kumbaga, ano yung naging turning point and na napag-decidean mo to enter the draft is uh, throw your name in the throw throw your name in the list. So, kumbaga, ano yung ano naging ano yung nagpa ano sa motivate sa inyo gawin nito? Siguro wala naman yan. Talagang plano na plano ko talaga magpa-draft after na ng UAP ko. Eh, pero wala pa kasi ako ano, kailangan ko pa yung requirements para mag, mag magpa-draft. So, ayun. Eh, this year naman, wala, last year, wala namang, mm-hmm. wala namang kailangan para requirements para magpadala. Oo. Pero nakapag-delig ka ba or hindi na? Talaga ABL lang muna? Hindi na ako nakapag-delig. Pero ito yung plan ko ako ng ABL sa akin. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, how about you, Troy? How did you spend a year uh, during the lockdown? <laughs> Yeah, it was it was it was a really interesting year for me. I mean, the first thing I have to say is like I was definitely very blessed to not have to worry about, you know, a, a job or, or feeding my family. So let me get that out of the way first. But I was in an interesting position where in the first time in my life, I could do whatever I wanted. I didn't have like school practice. I'm I'm sure Josh can relate like, you know, every day is so planned out for you, even if you're playing ABL or I was playing 3x3. It's like every day I have something asked of me. So I went home to the States and it was kind of the first time where it's like, what are you going to, what do you want to do with your life? Like, that's how I treated it. It's like, what's, what's important to you. So, uh, it really was like a, a changing point in my life in terms of like working on like my nutrition, my health, my workout, everything. So in a, in a lot of ways, like it, it really did change my life and it was a great opportunity to, to focus on what's important to me. And then obviously, you know, I was still able to play some three X three with mm-hmm. the bubble. I did a lot of flying back and forth. Like during that whole year, I probably flew back and forth from the Philippines like four times because there was so much uncertainty with like even the OQT, you know, we're trying to qualify for that. And then the pandemic and then we came back and then it's like the draft. Is it happening? So uh, it was it was an interesting year. But um, in in a lot of ways, like it, like I said, it kind of, you know, changed, changed my whole life, my whole outlook. And let's talk about your 3x3 experience. Uh, How was it? Uh, You went to Doha, I think, yeah. So, yeah. how was your experience of living in the bubble for for three weeks in Kalamba? Yeah, I mean, we were we were joking about it a little bit before, but you know, one, one bubble experience was enough for me. It was it was really tough, you know. I mean, I I was happy to be able to play basketball, especially after that much time off to be able to compete again to to work towards the goal we basically had in three x three this whole time. So the basketball part was good, but in terms of the bubble, it was so so mentally challenging. And I know that might kind of sound weird to hear like, oh, your job is to play basketball. That's so hard. And it's yes, obviously, it's 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 not as hard as other stuff people are going through. But in terms of like that mental challenge, you don't know until you're actually in it, like how hard it really is. Mm-hmm. That's, that's true, actually. And uh, given your uh, given uh, your experience in the 3x3 court, uh, what are the things or aspects of your game that you can really uh, that you have really improved and you can use when you enter the five on five and then the dimension in the PBA. Yeah, I think the biggest one off the bat would be just be the physicality. Mm-hmm. You know, I already feel like I had you know slowly adjusted to the Philippine style of play, but for me, like any questions about adjusting anymore are gone because I was actually I was talking to you know one of the coaches and they were saying like, man, three x three is like it's not even basketball; it's just wrestling. Like it's just crazy <laughs> down there. So. For me, I mean, everyone always says the PBA is a step up in physicality, and I'm sure there'll be stuff I don't expect. But in terms of being hit or being held, like that's literally part of that's what you're coached to do in 3x3. So that, but then also just uh, continuing my versatility. You know, you, there's nowhere to hide in 3x3. You can't just be a center. You, you can't even just be a guard either, to be fair. So, you know, if I had to post up, Um, just guard guards, just just do everything asked of me. I feel like it really helped me kind of like, you know, just just be comfortable doing a bunch of different things out on the court. Mm-hmm. And plus your your uh, your fitness that you're able to play last year oh, will yeah. also be a plus yeah. factor. Yeah. yeah. And how about you, Josh? Uh, on the course of level that you played in the UEAP and now different naman sa PBA, but you were able to play in Alab. So, ano, kamusta yung magiging adjustment na ina-anticipate mo pag step mo sa sa PBA court? Um, um, 
well, yung physicality yan. Uh, isa yan uh, yung kailangan ko talaga improve yung katawan ko kasi uh, nakapag-shoot up game na rin naman ako nung alap ko sa, sa mga PBA team. And iba. Iba yung physicality pa pag PBA players and iba pag sa sa ABL. And sa tingin ko yun kailangan ko alagaan yung patawan ko. And sa tingin ko naman offensively, defensively makapag-adjust naman. Mm-hmm. So great to hear that. And talagang kailangan eh, no? Kailangan habang hindi pa nag-start yung season malaking improvement na agad. Significant change na agad yung gagawin mo. Oh. So, and uh Troy by the way, uh, Coach Pido is known for developing big men like Prince Ibe and Karim Abdul during the UST days and do you see yourself flourishing under him? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, just just from our short conversations I've had, I haven't had the the experience to train under him directly yet, but I've I've heard great things and I know I'm happy to be at Northport because they're going to give me any every opportunity I need to to succeed and develop as a player and after that it's just uh, down to me putting in the work so yeah I'm, I'm excited to get to it mm-hmm. and, uh, coach Pinto is also known for his tough love and are you excited about <laughs> it or does it scare you even a little bit yeah um if I'm being honest I, I I'd be lying if I knew exactly what to expect from from Northport the, the coaches over there obviously I've I've heard some things I'm just going into it with an open mind like I said I just look at it. If I play hard and I and I work hard, I feel like everything else will kind of take care of itself. So yeah, I mean, if he's tough love or he's gonna yell at me, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm used to that. So it's it's no worry to me. And also, Northport was uh, recently uh, what known for for a uh, for this controversial trade deal uh, for Christian Stand Hardinger and uh, Greg mm-hmm. Slaughter. So are you excited to team up with Greg for this season? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm super super excited. I got the chance to to talk to him a little bit, not in person, but obviously a talented, talented player has accomplished a lot. Um, you know, who who am I to you say something to him? But from everything I've heard, he's like really, really improved and worked hard. So I mean, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't mean to like, but the answer to that is I'm I'm very excited to play with him and and to learn and to learn from him. And once again, a guy who's accomplished so much, and I think just even as a teammate having a you know a seven footer in the paint you cannot complain about that at all and aside from greg uh, the team captain Sean anthony is also a, well also an accomplished guy so he's really tough in the court so yeah i, I honestly um I, i couldn't think of two guys like better better to learn from than than those two so I'm really really excited to get to it yeah And for Josh, uh, what are the challenges that you think you will face in the PBA, especially with Dross? Sabi mo, may military training, so <laughs> you know, uh, may, may pressure ba playing with the stars like just James Yap, Bo Belga, and Gabe Norwood? Um, well, pressure palagi naman yun dyan. Pero yung mindset ko lang kasi kailangan na uh, mag-improve lang ako sa sarili ko. Uh, gawin ko yung part ko, gawin ko yung role ko if ever mabigyan ako ng chance. Uh, and then yun, improve ko lang yung game ko. Uh, sa tingin ko naman, uh, mabibigyan naman ako. I mean, if ginagawa ko naman yung tamang gawin, mabibigyan siguro naman ako ng chance. Mm-hmm. And lang, uh, basta enjoy ko lang yung journey ko kasi di naman natin alam kung, kung hanggang kailan na tayo maglalaro. Eh. So, yan lang. And by the way, sino yung player na pinaka excited kang makatapat pag pagdating mo sa ano, pagdating mo sa sa PBA? Well, sinasabi ko palagi si Kuya LA Tenorio pero parang ngayon excited na all lahat eh, parang oh. eh syempre talaga iniidolo mo rin naman talaga sila. Kaya hmm. excited na, na mga paglaro sa PBA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, how about you Troy? A player that you're really excited to to see it to play with or against um you know i don't i'm not sure there's there's one in particular but i'll i'll, I'll give a shout out to rain or shine gabe norwood's always been someone i've i've looked up to so i i probably won't be guarding him but just to share the court with him would be it would be a great experience so i guess that's the one that comes to mind right away mm-hmm. and uh regarding the physicality uh under the ring so under the basket so are you expecting any player that you know bowing body sweet and uh Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, 
uh, I think all of them are going to be a challenge and there's going to be a lot of physicality, no matter, no matter who I'm going against. I mean, obviously in terms of bigs, like June Mars, the guy who stands out that everyone, you know, the level people are trying to hold themselves to, but every, every single player I play against is going to be a challenge. So I'm just going to give it my best shot. Yeah, so that's really tough. It, it would be a very tough task to handle once yeah. you enter the ring, the court. Yeah. Yeah, and, definitely. Definitely. And, uh, To both players, uh, are you guys prepared to enter the bubble, if ever? Uh, I'll, I'll let uh, Josh take that one okay, first. Okay, Josh. You go, Barry. Hindi ka na gano'n ka ready, kumbaga. If ever? Well, ako, ilang years ako nag, nag, nag-dorm sa school ko. So, sanay ako na, na kasama ko lagi basketball player. So, If ever, bakit hindi, di ba? I mean, okay, okay ako doon. I mean, sanay, sanay ako, sanay ako nito. Mm-hmm. And ano yung ano, kumbaga uh, ina-anticipate mong magiging adjustment or difficult part pag once na nag-stay ka na sa bubble? Um, pinaka mahirap na part is palagi kang maglalaro. I mean, kung gagawitin mm-hmm. ako, I mean, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero, eh, ganun, ganun yung mindset. Pero, I mean, kahit, kahit, I mean, limited time or kung anong time yun. Pero yung pagod, yung yung fatigue. Oh. Kasi training, laro, training, laro. And doon, new UAP, doon ako nahirapan. Yung pina, feeling ko kailangan maging healthy ka, hmm. uh, magpahinga and, uh, and, and buhat. Yun yung pinaka-important. Kung bagay, yung, yung, yung recovery, no? Yung recovery period okay. yung hahabulin mo. Oh. And... Uh, how about you, Troy? Uh, given that you have already uh, entered the bubble, I think at least once. So, how are you planning to adjust, or what are your expectations, if ever, that uh, there will be another bubble? Set? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I would not be excited at all to go into a bubble. <laughs> But uh, like I said, I mean, it's 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 kind of part of the job. People are are going through a lot worse right now with with the pandemic. So. If if it were to come to that, then yeah, I'd just you know prepare the best I could and uh, just just give it my all, try to get through it. Mm-hmm. Let's see. So, and also you've already uh, spent several days and weeks uh, under the bubble, so I guess you could re- easily adjust if ever. Yeah, and passed. that quarantine when I flew back from the states that yeah. was tough because you couldn't even leave your room. I, I'm not doing that ever again. <laughs> Uh, maybe if I can leave my room in the bubble, but I'm not sitting in one room like that again. <laughs> It feels so unproductive and boring. Man, I felt like my body was like withering away. Like it was like, oh man, that was terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> By the way, uh, just a quick questions, uh, quick questions, quick question, guys. Are you uh, willing to uh, undergo vaccination if the PBA will require it for you? If That's strict Josh. I mean, for you, Troy. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that's, that's fine. Sure. So yeah, I, uh, I think that's all the time and uh, the questions that I have for now. And before we wrap it up, a uh, huge shout out for our viewers: uh, Lyra, Jane, Liveta, Ray M. Balabag, Larcito. Saibel Dream, Marta Ashanti Soralta, and Gab Ferreras currently watching us now. So hi guys, and uh, for uh, for my last question, uh, what are ano yung inaexpect ng mga tao sa inyo? Ano yung aasahan ng mga PBA fans for you guys? Uh, ano yung gusto niyo sabihin para sa kanila with few months to go bago makapag training na ulit kayo and makapaglaro na at makapagbalik uh, bumalik na ang PBA sa ere. Ayan, so I'll start with you, Josh. Uh, given a chance na makapaglaro, I mean, uh, iniling ko yung, yung support nyo sa, sa team ng Rain or Shine and expect nyo na magiging uh, masaya, masaya yung itatakbo ng team. And, uh, ayun lang, keep supporting us and yan, ingat, ingat, ingat tayo ngayon ng pandemic. Ayun lang naman. Mm-hmm. And you try any last message for our viewers and PBA fans? Yeah, I mean for for everyone watching right now, those names you named. Shout out to you guys! Thanks for 
watching and, and supporting, you know, the both of us, I'll, I'll, I'll lump myself in there as well. <laughs> uh, I'm just, yeah, I guess, you know, what to expect. I'm, I'm just going to keep training, keep working hard. Um, I know our team is going to do the same and hopefully we can, you know, put on, put on a show for you guys. I know there's a lot of people out there looking forward to PBA being back and we're, we're just as eager as you guys. So hopefully we'll be able to play again soon. Really hoping for it to see you guys and, uh, yeah. Really excited to see another PBA season and your you guys stepping on the court. So, yeah, I guess uh, once again, Troy and Josh, thanks for gracing our show, and we're really hoping to see you guys compete soon. And nakakamis talaga ang PBA. We miss it so bad. And keep safe and healthy out there. So, and uh, on behalf of the hardworking staff of the Daily Tribune, this is your sports kiddo, Ian Suyu, wishing you a good health and good night. Maraming salamat for watching us. Until the next bounce, everybody, keep safe.